First, we brought you the story at the Beacon. Now Channel 5 has picked up on the Fountain Square Garage Handicapped Accessibility Study. Here is an excerpt. First, it was late. Then there were leaks. Now there's an even bigger gripe about the Fountain Square Garage. And News 5's Michael Maley has more. Take a look at this curb in the Fountain Square parking garage. It may not look like a problem, but it is if you're trying to get over it in a wheelchair. I would say it's disappointing. Hamilton County Commissioner Todd Fortune uses a walker, and he's parked in the garage a couple times since it reopened. Disappointed, at least, for people with disabilities, that it, uh, it, it doesn't do uh, at all what it should have done. The curbs were supposed to look like this, and we're told the error will be fixed. Fortune has also noticed some handicapped spots don't appear any larger than regular spots. We found out that's simply a painting error. Last week we showed you some leaks which were because of exposed areas on the square during construction. That will also be fixed. Fortune is also though concerned that some of the handicapped spots are across from elevators, meaning disabled would have to cross the path of vehicles to get to their destination. The project manager says he's looking into that too, but Fortune's biggest concern is that the elevator won't go up to the Westin Hotel. Like before, you've got to use these stairs. The project manager says it's city-owned property. It was never part of the plan. There's no doubt it was very expensive to get that elevator to come up to the street, street level. It would, be a, it would be a pretty big undertaking. And uh, that's something, though, that the city and the city of Cincinnati, as far as the taxpayers, have to decide. They're showing signs of being willing to, to do some of it right. Well, let's get it all right. And that was Michael Bailey reporting tonight. Fortuna has asked the city and the county to order an accessibility review of that garage. While an elevator to the west end will not be part of this $42 million project, the project manager, manager rather says all of the other concerns will be addressed by the grand opening next month.